Yeah, good day viewers. I'm just in uh, the process on installing this large uh, marshalling box here on the side of the house. Um, because I've got my normal YouTube PowerPoint here, of course. And I'm just going to put the 50 ampere supply, which is disguised here. And I have no space here in the garage at the moment. So I'm going to wire this into this marshal box here, which I'll be using for test purposes, etc. So I'm going to drill a hole through the wall there and run some conduit to the for the supply and then uh, that is going to be used in future to uh, connect up the transformateur, 11 kV transformateur. I'll just get a better position, stand by. I'm in the process of tidying the mess up, I've got uh, five capacitors here and then I've got another uh, one, two, three, got another five capacitors there. So I'm going to connect those up. Uh, they clean some shit up here at the same time, there's a lot of mess here. And I've got a VT here, so I haven't done much of this. Oh, there's another capacitor here, I forgot about that. So I've cleaned up some stuff here, so I'll keep uh, the washing line tidy for the missus. Only problem is I've got a Hoya, which I don't want to destroy. There's this plant here that's just uh, populating very fast, and it's happy airs. So I need to rebind it back somehow and see what I can do, so yeah. But I'm gonna connect this up to a switch unit which I got here. Have a look around here. I got a part of a Hazelmeyer. That's the wrong way around here. That's a Hazelmeyer switch device. Which I'm gonna use for my HV switching. I'll just give you a curl around here and uh, there are the slots and I got plugs. Uh, to pop in for testing so that gives me a better contact instead of that old knife switch so it's all work pending there's some LEDs I need to take out of this street light um, haven't done anything with it yet it's quite interesting if you look at the LEDs I've got some other ones I took out of another um, street light uh, power supplies have died look how tiny these chips are they're like about uh, four by four millimeters. So in a street light you got 12 or 24. That's a new version. And I did find another power supply. I haven't tested it yet. It may work, it may not work. This is a power supply from one of these street lights. Next you got dual redundancy. So you've got this module here. I think it's 24 or 48 volts. So one drives 12 LEDs, and then the other one drives 12 LEDs. And then you've got the surge diverter here. So I haven't tested that, that came out of another street light, so I'm not sure if this works. And then they had the photocell here. So that particular component that normally fits... I think that fits around here, I think, yeah. You've got your power lead here, your active, your light blue is neutral and green is earth and it modules it here and that gets connected up to these lights. There's heaps of these lights being thrown out at the moment, don't know why. Normally the LEDs seem to work. So for the marshalling box I got uh, this panel here, I think it came out of it. It used to be a SCADA, a SCADA device. I need to strip all these connectors off and then uh, Fit that in the panel, hopefully. Fit it in the Marshall box, and then I can uh, start preparing my meter panel. So this is some of the jobs I'm working on, but I'm quite busy with work. Hence, you haven't seen me upload too many videos. So uh, yeah, there's a couple of bits and pieces I need to sort out. And uh, logistics is here. I got this post in front of here, but I can't find it fitted anywhere else. So I need to take the door off what I'm working on here. So this thing and there's another little clip so I'll open it up standby okay the door is being removed and I'm gonna probably put con contactors in here and maybe a couple of uh, meters as well at the same time so I've got some of these meters so I'm gonna get one of these actars in here maybe I'll see what, uh, what I'm gonna do I haven't made up my mind yet there's a bit of glare there so yeah, so that's just uh, happening at the moment. 
this is actually perfect uh, recycling or upcycling like you're gonna say so this panel fitted perfectly so I use some M8 stainless steel nuts which uh, bolts which are salvaged from the skip uh, from street light heads which are being thrown out I live in a wasteful society these just get chucked out or they're sitting in the heads of the street lights and I'll salvage them those M8s are quite handy to use for a lot of uh, different things so I'm going to take all these uh, devices out here and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to hang some meters in here. May even uh, run a few meters as well. Stay tuned. I'm going to get the panel a bit of a wipe with some uh, Enox and CRC and it almost looks like new, so that's a matter of uh, getting uh, it connected up. Well, out of this pile of junk, uh, I just done a modification, so I got uh, Bulk transformer out of there, but I got 35 mil jumper leads. It's just all temporary, but I wanted to get some meter spinach for today. And I got uh, these meters connected up. Um, let's have a look here. That's the S301.6 Volcan meter. I've got uh, all the elements in the series. Then I got the uh, ACE 3000. It's bouncing away. Phase. Also, all the elements in the series, so there, are, there will be some errors because potential calls. And I got this little device here. I thought it was an ACA 1000, but it's an EM211, and it got uh, 67 uh, kilowatt hours. So we'll let this percolate for a while, well. and then uh, yeah, so it's pretty rough. Uh, Westy set up a meters running at about 60 ampere. So I've got the PT transformer here, 220 to 220 or 240 to 240, just uh, separation. And a current transformer which drives the M meter, uh, which is sitting here at 60 ampere. So yeah, let's let this stick for a wee while. And uh, yeah, at least I've got the box on the wall, so it's operational. Uh, the meter is it's exactly on 10 units here. 10 units. Uh, this meter here sits at uh, 81 blank, just about to roll over. Ah, bloody reflection. Make it 82, that's just, yeah, that means it's just, uh, just a little bit over, so. 82, I'm gonna let it tick for a wiggle, and this thing is on uh, 68.3. That meter will run uh, three times as, uh, no, but it'll run one third of the speed, actually. I'll let it sit here. Well, the thing about S301.6 is nearly clocked at 10 units. Now we just watch this meter uh, clock over, just get a little bit of clear. Eight, nine, two, six, nine, two, and the doll here is just uh, sitting just at zero. So yeah, these two meters are perfectly a step, and I'll record that one. It should move to about one third of the readings, and it's at 71.4. i do a night reading here. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock tonight. So the meter has advanced uh, a couple of hundred units, I think. And this one is a uh, dead reading. And that one is on that reading. So I'll let this percolate for a while. Keep these meters going for a couple of days. And uh, yeah, still nothing beats a disc meter. That always looks good. Load is about 50 ampere. 